Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey guys, bless you, bless you, welcome. Welcome, I really want to greet you and bless you in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. God is so good. I really mean this. I, I just woke up this morning with, with, with a song in my heart. I'm sure you know it. It's called, I live to worship you. I live, I live, I live to worship you. And, and it's just, it's resonating. It's, it's continually going through my mind. I live to worship you. And, and another song just comes straight into my head. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercies endure forever. Well, bless you. Thank you for jumping on. Greetings, Ronell. Bless you, bless you. For those on Instagram, for those who are going to watch on YouTube, thank you. Please remember to subscribe and join in. Um, guys, I want to share with you today about thank you. Thank you. Something, something that needs to be exercised much more than we do. Psalm 118 verse 29, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. Well, when does the word thank you lose its power? When does the word thank you drop off and just become like, you know, when it's done with a pure, sincere heart, it is actually received. And I'm just going to stop right there again. And I just want to I just want to remind my precious sister, Ronell. <laughs> Pick on Ronell Day. Absolutely. Well, we were in South Africa, living in Hillcrest, and Ronell lived like, my gosh, over 100 miles away. And she had pre-planned this. She went and made us some German cookies. And on her way past us, well, not even coming past us, but on her way near us, she stopped, turned in, visited us, and blessed us. I haven't forgotten that. I'm telling you, they were the best ever. And Ronell, I say thank you. Thank you. Now, I'll tell you what thank you does. Thank you makes you feel good. Not only the person receiving it, but when you give it. I challenge you. I dare you. I dare you. I, I've, I've got needs. Right now, I've got needs. Uh, Lord God, I need A, I need B, I need C, I need D. And the, the Father knows I've got needs. And His Word says, bring your petitions and your requests. But Lord God, right now, I'm taking my petition, I'm taking my request, and I'm putting it on the side. And I just want to look towards heaven and say, I live to worship you. I live to worship you. I want to give thank you. I want to say, Lord God, I bless you. I thank you for coming into my life. What are you thankful for this day? I want to tell you something. The goodness of God leads us to repentance. And I am so grateful for my salvation. And the more I genuinely remiss on, on my past, on my salvation, I fall flat on my face and I say, Father, forgive me for what I've made of it. Let's, let's have a look at the definition of thank you quickly. It's praise to God. That's where it is. It's gratitude for all God has done. And what he has yet to do, to be done. It's a deep confession. It's from the depths of your heart. You fall on your face and you give thanks to the Lord for what he's done. It's true worship with a sacrifice. It's true worship with a sacrifice. True confession, true saying thank you with the depths of your heart, is, is to bring a radical offering. Of appreciation before the Lord and saying father I bless you I bless you and I thank you it's to show favor for what is good it's to be thankful or full of thanks and praise I know that I'm speaking to the converted right now I know that and I know that you do this but I want to urge you and encourage you share this message with others because they need to they need to receive the blessing that comes with the blessing so when you come and you bless the Lord and you say thank you to others, what happens is it, it just reciprocates and it, and it just bounces backwards and forwards. It's like playing tennis with each other. It just gets better and better and better. And I really, really do. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord God. This morning, Karen and I were praying. And I, and I just started thanking God, even for the things that are not yet done in the natural, because they are done in the spiritual 
everything happens first in the spiritual. So I'm giving thanks to the Lord. We received a prophetic word the other day, last week, Thursday, that God was going to give us a building. I'm thanking God, God in advance, even before I've got the keys in my hand. I'm thanking God in advance for that land. I'm thanking God in advance for that blessing that is coming, for the salvation of my children. I'm thanking the Lord because he is my healer. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord for this. The word in Greek saying thank you is Eucharistia. Eucharistia in Hebrew is Todah. Todah. T-O-D-A-H. And it literally means to throw your hands up in extravagance and give thanks. Thank you is appreciation exceeding the limits of reason. Thank you is gratitude, not, not lacking in moderation. Thank you is, is gratitude without a balance, <laughs> with zero restraint. It's, it's grateful and extremely or excessively elaborate. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, like, thanks, eh? Cool. Thank you. That's not a thank you. That's not a thank you. A thank you is when you come and you say, Lord God, I bless you. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I can't imagine, I can't imagine what my life would be like without salvation. Well, I can tell you, number one, I would, I would never have met Karen because I met her when we were in church. It was an, a, on a Sunday. I looked and I went like this, oh, well, and I saw her and I immediately it was, I knew that I knew that I knew that that was going to be my wife. The Lord dropped it in my spirit. And I'm saying to you today, we married 40 years, and I give thanks to the Lord because, because of my salvation, because of what he did for me, we've got children. Because of what he did for me, we've got grandchildren. I bless the Lord. Because of what he's done for me, I've got this ability to be able to share with you. I just want to say thanks to the Lord. I am grateful, extremely grateful, excessively grateful. I'm elaborately grateful, and I'm saying, Lord God, I just want to fall on my face before you I, I just want to kiss your feet I just want to say thank you master thank you Lord God for what you've done it's expensive it's opulent it it's too much to spend but my brothers and sisters just consider what he's done just consider what he's done and allow your thanks to take on the definition of profuse over the top and lavish in Isaiah 29, 13, it says, this is what thank you is not. These people draw near to me with their mouth, and they honor me with their lips. Yet they have removed their heart far from me. Moreover, their worship towards me is the doctrine of men. Oh, my brothers and sisters, may that never be said of you. You say, Lord God, I'm going through such stress. I'm facing such challenge. It's so difficult correct that's circumstantial the devil knows his time is short the devil knows his time is short and the bible says he's going around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour kill destroy but what are you called to do in the middle of the storm shadrach meshach and abednego did not pray for the fire to be removed they worshiped god peter in prison worshiped god Daniel in the lion's den worshipped God. Find the peace of Christ. Lift up holy hands in the valley. Lift up holy hands on the mountain and worship the Lord your God. Worship him. Say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. The steps of a good man are ordered by God. I bless you, Father. I say thank you because you're going to take me through this. Salvation belongs to my children blessing comes to me i thank you lord god that i will worship you i will worship you and give thanks to the lord for what he has promised you what has he promised you life in 1 john 5 12 god has promised you life so thank him god has promised you in jeremiah 29 a plan for your future thank him god has promised you in philippians 1 purpose for your life God has promised you in 2 Corinthians, freedom for you. God has promised you in Romans 5, peace. God has promised you in Philippians 4, provision. God has promised you in Acts, power. God has promised you in Philippians 4, again, strength. 
God has promised you in Proverbs 16, verse 3, he will bless the plans of your hands. God has promised you in John 16, joy, and God has promised you in Isaiah 53, healing. Gosh, I can continue. God has promised you the ability to generate wealth with the works of your hands. Proverbs 8, 18. God has promised you comfort when you go through trials and tribulations and you're, and you're sitting down crying in Psalm 23. God has promised you in Psalm 23, verse 1, there will be no lack. In Psalm 91, God has promised you protection. God has promised to answer every one of your prayers in Matthew 21. God has promised you in Isaiah 41, he is your help. And in James chapter 4, God has promised you the romance and the dance through intimacy. James 4 verse 8, draw near to God, he will draw near to you. My brothers and sisters, there's power and thank you. There's power and thank you. Let's focus right now on saying thank you to the Lord. I, I encourage you, I urge you, I, I ask you now to draw near. What does is, what is saying thank you do? Saying thank you keeps your focus on the Lord. It keeps you humble and dependent. It takes your attention off your problem and it puts you on Christ, your Redeemer. It reminds you that God is the giver of good gifts and he adds no sorrow to it. It leaves no room for complaining. It gives you victory over the enemy. It opens the door for continued blessing. Thanksgiving heals the heart. The word of the Lord says it's good medicine. Thanksgiving ushers in his presence. Saying thank you gives praise and worship to God. My brothers, I want to pray this with you right now. My sisters, I want to pray this with you right now. And I urge you to verbalize this with me. I will speak slower, but say it with me. Please repeat this with me. Father God, sorry, I'm like just, I'm just overcome at the moment. I'm like, God is so good. God is so good. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for his goodness has brought me to salvation. I thank the Lord for he touched me, healed me, set me free. So I want to pray this with you. Please repeat this with me. Father God, I come before your throne of grace and I say thank you. Thank you for the amazing power and work that you are doing in my life. Thank you for your goodness and your blessing over me. Thank you for your salvation that you have given to me. Thank you for the promises fulfilled and for the promises yet to be fulfilled. Thank you, Lord God, for the written word that has come to me. Thank you for your prophetic word that has come to me. Thank you for the hope that you give to me. Thank you for your great love and your care for me. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you that you are always with me and you will never leave me and never forsake me. Thank you that you are good enough for me. Thank you, Lord, that healing is my portion. Thank you, Lord, that you are my provider. Thank you, Lord, that you are my foundation. Thank you, Lord, that you are my banner. Thank you, Lord, that you surround me with your presence. Thank you, Lord, that you fill me with your glory. Thank you, Lord. Father, I say thank you this day. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For his love endures forever. I love you, Lord. Father, I bless you. And I say thank you. I thank you, Lord God, that your hand is on my life. And that you use me to reach the lost. To give hope to the poor. That you use me, Father God, to bring healing to the sick. Thank you, Lord God, that in my weakness, in my brokenness, you raise me up. And I'm praying this for you right now, my brothers and sisters, that the presence of God rest upon you. I choose this moment, Lord God, to give you my praise and my worship and say thank you 
for you alone are worthy. I bless you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I want to urge you and encourage you. I encourage you right now to change the situation around you. Change it. You say, Mark, how do I change it? Say thank you. Say thank you. Don't look at the situation. Lift up your eyes. Looking down at the situation, it's like, oh God, I can't get through this. But lift up your eyes to the hills from where your help comes from. Your help comes from the Lord. He is the giver of life. And start thanking God for what He has done. Thank Him for what He is going to do. And I declare over you this day, through the fruit of your lips, you will enjoy the harvest that is coming to you. Let the fruit of your lips be one of praise and blessing. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. I'm just going to go personal now for me. And I bless you, my precious Sharon sister. I love you, my, my, my blood sister from, from South Africa, now living in Scotland with your husband, Tony. I, I, Sharon, I just want to do this. You and I, do. let's do this. Others, you join in and you do it for your family. But my sister Sharon, let's... Let you and me do this. I've got three sisters. I've got Sharon, I have Diane, and I have my younger sister, Lynette. I'm third in the family. Mom and Dad are still alive. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I, and I really mean this. I thank God for my precious sister, Sharon. I thank you, Lord God, for her. I thank you. Guys, do this with me. Join with me. Do it. I can't hear you, so you're not going to interrupt me. But please do this. Do this over your family. I thank you, Lord God, for mom and dad. I thank you that that mom, every single day, has prayed for her children. I thank you, Father, that dad faithfully, faithfully went and worked to provide for us as a family. Thank you, Lord, for my family. Thank you, Lord God, for my salvation. I thank you right now for my sister Sharon. I thank you, Lord, that you bless her, protect her. You come and open the heavens above her. Fill her, Lord God. Let there be a download in her life. Father, fill her husband, Tony. Bless them. Pour out your spirit upon them. Father, I bring my sister Diane before you right now. I bless her. I speak life over you. I speak the presence of God into you. I speak the joy of the Lord rise upon you. I speak the peace of Christ to pass your thinking. Overcome every challenge that you're facing. I pray, Lord God, for my sister Lynette. I bring Lynette and Dean before you. Father, I thank you that your hand be upon her. Father, turn, turn them deeper towards each other and deeper into your presence. I thank you that they're serving God. I thank you for my family that we serve the Lord. Now I speak to my children. I speak to my sister's children. And I speak to my... Guys, join with me in this. Do this with me. The power of thank you has, has an amazing reward. It immediately brings the blessing of God. And Father, I say thank you for my children. I want to just say thank you for Siobhan and Shelley. I want to say thank you for Bruce and Darren. I want to say thank you... I don't want to miss any of them out. I want to say thank you, Lord God, for each one of my children right now. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for Chantel. I thank you, Father, for, for my children right now, for, for Lauren. I thank you for Joel. I thank you for Chloe. I thank you for, for their family, for their children. I thank you for, for, my, for my, children, my sister's children. Lord God, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I thank you, God, that salvation comes to my family. I thank you, Lord. God. Create an attitude of gratitude. Create, create the situation around you to be one of thanksgiving. And watch what God's going to do. I bless you. I thank you for jumping on. I really do. I just want to encourage you next month. We're going to be start for eight weeks. We're going to have an intensive prophetic training course. There's no charge. Please, if you're keen on building a prophetic well, what does that mean? John chapter 4, Jesus met the woman at the well. 
he gave her a prophetic word. That woman jumped up, ran into the city, told the people of the city, I met a man who told me everything, brought those people out, and they all became followers of Christ. One prophetic word can set a city free. And I believe God is calling Karen and I to ignite people to start prophetic hubs, to, to start prophetic wells in their own home. We want to get behind you in this. We want to support you in this. We've got truckloads of material. We've, and we will help you and enable you and support you. We don't want to take ownership of it. We want to endorse what you want to do. If you want to just say, hey, Mark, we want to be a part of it. Well, then we welcome you to join us and become a part of it. If you want to become a leader in this, please contact me and let me know. And we can talk with you more about this. I really want to encourage you. Jump onto Amazon, please. Check out some of the books I've written, especially the one, Declare a Decree. It has 365 proclamations for every day of the year. And I show you how to invoke a blessing. I show you how to speak against family iniquities. That's why it's called a family curse. The family tree, the very tree that Jesus cursed, is the family tree that carries iniquities of sin. It might be a great tree with zero fruit. Jesus is not coming to look for a big tree. He's coming to look for fruit on the tree. My brothers and sisters, God wants to break the iniquities in your family in Jesus' name. I bless you, bless you, bless you. Amen. Thank you for joining. God bless.